All right, we'll look now at the female reproductive system. Okay, so female reproductive system. We'll look at, in an overview fashion, we have, of course, the vagina here. On top of it is your cervix. And you have your uterus. with the uterine tubes. You have your ovaries. Okay, so vagina is the organ of copulation on the birth canal. Your cervix is entry into the uterus. You have your uterus, which is used for pregnancy, houses the developing embryo fetus. Uh, you have your ovaries. Here, these are where you have your oocytes, what they call the eggs, that's where they mature in the ovaries. And if you look into, we call your uterine tube. This is what this is where uh, fertilization occurs here. It's also where once you ovulate, that's where the oocyte goes to. So the job is to receive the oocyte after ovulation. Okay, let's walk through these particular organs. So we're going to begin first with the ovaries. The ovaries, which are attached to the uterus by the ovarian ligament, attaches it there. Structurally, the ovaries have not like this. Here is your again, ovarian ligament. So the outermost tip of it, layer of it is called the germinal epithelium. This is one cellular thick membrane over the ovaries. We have a, a thicker border here called your tunica albuginea, just as we had it in the testes. Tunica albuginea, out there. And then you have a bigger region out there. This bigger region here is called the ovarian cortex. And inside here is the medulla of the, of the ovaries. So the general rule is that the cortex is where you find your oocytes. So the oocytes are out here in follicles. Follicles are found out here in the cortex. And in the middle where you have your blood vessels. Okay, major blood vessels run through here and lymph, and lymph drainage. All right, so that's the ovaries. Now we'll look next then at these follicles, how they work. So follicles mature so at birth the follicles are all all sit there inside the ovaries and the follicles house or each follicle ha contains in it an, an, an oocyte so let's look at the follicular development which happens after puberty so here Begin with an oocyte, this is the oocyte, and it's housed in a structure called a funnel. So 
So at birth, you have primordial follicles. Now after puberty, after puberty, these follicles start to mature and they will turn into primary follicles. Again, you still have the oocyte. Still have the oocyte, still sitting there. That's the nucleus of the oocyte. And you have the follicle now starts to get a little bit bigger. So you have probably two cell layers around the oocyte. Now we call this a primary follicle. Then they mature some more to become a slightly bigger one with some more features to them. So now you're gonna have still follicle. Cell layers, they have more cell layers now around in, in the walls of the follicle. We call these cell, these cells, cells are called your granulosa cells. These, these are the cells that make your uh, estrogen for you, cells, cells in the follicles. So then you also have in here, you have cells here. You also, you start to see a gap inside. The follicle, a space, and that fluid filled space in the follicle is called the antrum. And you'll start to see some zones start to form around the oocyte as well. I'll wait that, that part next. So, then, so this is your secondary follicle, made mo most obvious by the presence of, of an antrum inside the follicle, and then. This follicle will grow, become bigger follicle. So you're the antrum. You have big follicle now. Follicle here. The oocyte is still here. But now it's more now it's isolated. It has a zone around it called the zona pellucida and another zone further out called your corona radiata. And now the follicle has cells are more flattened out in the follicle compressed layers around here. And in the follicle, you have this huge space now. So this antrum grows to become massive. A huge fluid filled space in the follicle. So now, so now this is the antrum. Okay, when is this big? Oh, this is what's naming. So this is the oocyte. The green thing here is called the zona pellucida. This green thing is called the zona pellucida. And this black circle around it is called your corona. Radiata. Okay. When is this big? This is its most mature state before it ovulates. So this, this state of it is called your graphene or vesicular follicle. So it's called your vesicular follicle. So that's the, that, that's the next one. So you go from primordial to primary, to secondary to vesicular follicle. And this follicle will rupture. When it ruptures, 
when it bursts open, it will, so it bursts open right there, break it open, it will release the oocyte surrounded by its zona pellucida and its corona radiata. They're all still there with it. And then the follicle that remains will collapse. Collapses to form another follicle. Okay. Called the corpus luteum. So this, this, so this now is called your corpus luteum. And then, so, so and it, when, when this happens, this process of break, breaking open the follicle, that's called ovulation. It breaks open and, and an oocyte is released out. And, that, and that's then eventually picked up by your, by your fallopian tubes. Then the corpus luteum then will die and form a structure called the corpus albicans. So go, go, go from here to here, it takes, about, it takes about one year just to go from primordial to secondary follicle. This part goes a little faster. Each month, several of these are prompted to try to become the big one that will ovulate. Okay, so this part is monthly. This part takes about a year to, to, get, to complete. And there you have it. So it's primordial, primary, secondary, vesicular, ovulation, corpus luteum, and corpus albicans at, at the end of the process. From here to here, it takes about 14 days. Un unless you're pregnant, it, it takes about three months. Okay, so the luteum is critical because this, this is what keeps the, the uterus from shedding. It makes the hormone called progesterone, and that hormone keeps the endometrium alive of the uterus. Okay, we'll take a pause right there.